Grab your head. You're gonna make yourself paralyzed. Yeah. Oh my God. Here, do you want me to grab one of those ends? It's a race, guys. I don't care. <laughs> to everyone. <laughs> well, like last time we were in the trees. I know. Whatever you go camping or hiking. Make sure you bring seven people. Yeah. If it's just me, I'm going to have to like drag them on the board. Wait, are you videoing or is it a picture? I'll send it to all of you. Safety in numbers. Okay, oh. <laughs> guys, so today I'm going to show you what you would need in a medical first aid kit when you're out in the wilderness. And I still have to get a few things, but I got most of it tonight, so I'll show you. So you're probably going to need a pretty decent sized little duffel bag. We'll see how much of all of this I can fit in here. But this is what I've got so far. So we're going to start. Let's start with the bandages. So for the bandages, um, these are not for like keeping blood contained. They're for keeping whatever gauze and padding you have down contained. And there's lots of different ways to do that. Most of the time you want to use um, a triangle bandage and there's lots of different resources online to know how to use those and different crevettes. So I've got two that are about mid-sized that I'm gonna put in the duffel bag. And then I've got two larger ones. And then I also have two mini ones. So these can be used to stabilize an ankle. They can be used to keep different back pads on, different things so that you can make people movable out in the wilderness. 
So next we're going to put in some of the more random stuff. So you, in the wilderness, a lot of the time will have to deal with hypothermia people and so you'll need to start a fire and so steel wool and a nine volt battery will be awesome. Still need to get the nine volt batteries. So we're going to stick some steel wool in there. In fact, I'm going to do probably half of that. quick-acting cooler heat compress for people and so we're probably gonna take this one oh, don't start take this one out of the bag and place it into here next I know this is a little silly and I was telling my brothers I was like these are actually really good to stop bleeding they're like I'd rather die than have somebody put that on me <laughs> but um, maxi pads are actually very effective at stopping bleeding in a life or death situation, so you want to make sure that you have some of these in there as well. Um, and then also, to keep things a little bit more sterile, um, disposable um, pads. So if you have somebody that's bleeding out of control and you don't have enough gauze pads, these work pretty good for that too. So you definitely want to one of those in your bag. We're gonna move on, oh, and matches are always good to have in there if you're still wool, it's not working. Okay, let's start with butterfly strip. Tylenol pouches, I guess. So, you know, we're on probably Justin. Would you go get another bag? I'm just going to make a bag of those. And then sports tape to keep all of the different, whoo, the different gauze bag <laughs> pads in place. Thank you. Throw these in there. And Justin, would you get me another bag this size as well? Okay. Another thing for if somebody gets hurt, falls off a cliff or something, you're going to want to have lots, not lots, but you're going to definitely want tweezers so that as you're getting, because you never want to seal off or close a wound or cover it up with anything unless it's like really, really bad and you're trying to keep it from bleeding out. But you definitely want to get all of the bark, sticks, rocks out of there first or it'll just fester and get really infected and gangrene and all that stuff. So you're going to want these. You know what, actually we're gonna keep these in here so that they stay sterile. And you're gonna want scissors because got like 80,000 gauze pads in there. So you're gonna wanna keep these in there as well. Okay, next we're gonna go into, we've got some different ointment creams. 
I got some afterbite. I love afterbite. It works so good when you've had a mosquito bite or a bee bite or something like a bee bite. <laughs> a bee sting. This stuff is super awesome, especially where you're out in the wilderness. This works great. Um, and then the hydrocortisone cream can be used for poison ivy, poison oak, different things like that. It's pretty much just a itch and rash cream for the different things that you can find out there. So we're gonna put all of this in our meds bag. And then the most important cream that you should have at all times is triple antibiotic ointment or Neosporin. I am a cheap college student, so I got the cheapy stuff. Oh, that is so little. Look at the container compared to this whole thing. I'm gonna need to get some bigger ones. <laughs> Anyways, whatever kind of injury it is, you definitely want to put that on so you don't risk infection. Oh, and you know what else we're gonna stick in here? Super glue. So I have not been trained to do stitches yet, but I have been trained on how to use super glue from my family. <laughs> um, the boys have gone in lots of little accidents where they probably should have gotten stitches, but this stuff works awesome. So you definitely want to hold, if it's not too big, hold the wound together and dump a bunch on there and hold it till it dries and then cover it up. And it works pretty good. I fixed my roommate's finger. She cut it on a can of pumpkin, like pumpkin pie filling, and it fixed it right up, and it healed really nicely, actually. So, okay, there's our meds bag. Okay, next, I might need a bigger duffel bag. Okay, for ticks. This is probably the best working thing for ticks. A lot of people think like, oh, try to burn them out or jam or all this different stuff. If you put some Vaseline on it right after you like find the tick, it'll suffocate it so it'll rise to the surface and then you can get it. Make sure that with your tweezers you get the whole thing out and you don't leave any part of it in there. So Vaseline. Next, you want cotton swabs for lots of different reasons. So we're just gonna throw those in there really quick. Maybe. Hey Justin, open that. <laughs> Okay, burn relief gel, super awesome. If you find somebody that's been unconscious for a while in the wilderness and has gotten a really bad sunburn, you wanna get this on there and keep them cool. Bug spray, I'm probably not gonna put that in there, but I found the promo, so we got it. Duct tape is really awesome. We're probably gonna put that in another container. Um, the next really most important thing, I don't need 50 of these, so I'm gonna take some out, but exam gloves, you never wanna get somebody else's bodily fluids blood or anything else on you, especially if you just walk up to somebody in the wilderness and don't know what's going on with them and they're not family. So I'm going to take several out of those in a minute. You want sandwich bags in there because depending on what's going on, if they lose something, you want to be able to put it in a sealed container and like fingers or <laughs> toes or if you lose a tooth or something or if you're having a miscarriage, you want to keep everything in these bags. Um, so you definitely want to have these on hand. Um, <laughs> Caleb said these were for emergency dates, but no. Um, you want to have these in case um, it helps kind of hold everything in if you've got a bandage on your legs or even on your hand or arm. And for blisters, I don't care if you're a manly man, these actually help and people use them in the military. So these are going in here too. And last but not least, I've got a blood pressure cuff and kit in here that it's just really tiny and handy and you can throw in places so that you can monitor the patient's condition yeah. and keep track on if they're improving or degrading. So, and then you want, okay, these aren't going to fit in there at this point, but, oh, thank you, Justin, but you always want to have water on hand and or Gatorade to keep people hydrated depending on their condition for different things. They always want to have So, if I can zip this up, this is my first aid kit that will come with me everywhere, just in case somebody needs help. Thank you.